sure a lot of you have seen the video by now of a fairly prominent political figure, particularly in the legislative branch of the U.S. government, on the border attempting to film what was going on in certain of the, quote, detention facilities that are found there. I think it's fair to say that those facilities are detention facilities, and I think it's fair to say that people should be being detained there in various circumstances. What I wanted to kind of bring up today is this idea that this individual taking the video that he was trying to take was somehow robbing or depriving these individuals of their dignity. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, the subject of today's little video is going to be give them their dignity. That will be the subject of our daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I am your host. I'm Kurt. Glad to have you aboard today, whether it's on YouTube, on Rumble, or on the pad podcast. I'm trying to reduce my use of the word aboard. I use it a little more than I'd like to. In any case, uh, today is Tuesday, the 6th of April of 2021. Uh, happy to have you here. And hopefully you'll sit and listen through what I have to say today. Uh, again, the subject today will be give them their dignity. And what I want to say is this. You've got a bunch of people who you've basically told you're going to let into the country and there will be no detentions and they won't be sent back. Yet there are a bunch of people sitting in detention facilities right now. And worst of all, chances are pretty good with most of them that what's going to happen is they're going to be reduced into the United States general population and never seen again by the immigration system unless they happen to get caught in some very, very special circumstances. And that literally, those people literally can do things like commit felonies and not have, uh, the, you know, not tend to be released instead of even taken into custody for the fact that they've committed a felony, much less that they're not a... Uh, legal resident of the United States, legally in the United States. Um, the thing is, most of them could argue, at least for the time that they're in the de detention facilities, that they would be better off if they stayed home. And the thing about that is that means that you're already pretty much taking their dignity for, from them before anybody says or does anything to them. Considering, as we said yesterday, people are generally responsible for both their government and general accepted, generally accepted activities in their home country, what do you expect they're likely to bring here, by the way? Not all of them. Some of them are just normal people trying to get through life, right? But some of them are, many of them are going to bring ideas, ideals, and perspectives that are inconsistent with what America is about. But the real question to me is, how is keeping these folks in holding area giving them their dignity? How is exposing wrong and hypocrisy not doing so? If this particular lawmaker came to the border with the intent to expose the hypocrisy of the people who are mistreating them, which they are, and putting huge amounts of people in an extremely small amount of space where they have no business being COVID-19 or not, Okay, that's just not cool. It's just not reasonable to do that to people. It just isn't, okay? How can you possibly say that that person is less out after their dignity than somebody who is willing to jam them in those spaces and hide them away? How's that any better? How's that any more dignified for anybody? Okay, it's just not a complicated idea. Human dignity starts with the idea that you treat people in dignified fashions. Filming somebody who's being treated in a fashion that's not dignified may raise awareness of the fact that that person is not being treated in a dignified way. Putting them in the position where they're not being treated in a, in, with dignity to begin with, I'm sorry, but you've already pretty much crossed that line. So talking about it like somebody else is not doing it when you're already not doing it, well, that's pretty broken as far as I'm concerned. If you want to treat people with dignity, do not tell them you're going to do one thing and do another. Just don't. It's not a thing, right? It's not a dignified thing to come to a country that you think is going to take you in with open arms only to have people... Um, tell you that you're going to have to wait in this border crossing facility. And oh, by the way, when you do so, what's even worse is keeping them there illegally. 
they're supposed to be there for for, for what seventy two hours. Some of the, some of them have been there for fifteen days or whatever. How can you possibly say that you're treating those people with dignity when you can't even follow through on your own rules and when you tell them one thing and you do another? How can you do that? And how can you count somebody else treating them with less dignity when that person is trying to show the conditions under which those people are being held, kept? No, they're not prison camps. They came there willingly. People typically don't go to pr prison camps willingly. Typically, they're unwilling. Okay? doesn't take a genius to figure that out. I'm not saying that that's always true, but it's almost always the case. No, they're not uh, Auschwitz. Not even close. These people, we may not feed them as well as we'd like to be able to. We may not be able to give them the most hygienic of situations. But nobody I know in the United States, if they knew that it was happening, would put up with the idea that these people are being treated badly, any, any worse than they absolutely have to be. And I don't care if Democrats or Republicans are running things. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not Auschwitz. If you show me that you begin to behave like Auschwitz, you starve people to death, you work them to death, or you push them through gas chambers or, quote, ovens or whatever... Then, you, then you're now you're in the realm of Auschwitz and you need to be called out for it. But you, this is not what's happening. It wasn't what was happening under uh, the previous administration. And it's not what's happening under the current one. And I'm not trying to say that. And anybody with, with any sense is not trying to say it either. I will point out that going from being uh, not overwhelmed, but having a lot of people in your facilities to going to a 1,600% capacity rate on your facility, that's not cool. That's not cool. And so now we've got people talking about maybe we do need the wall, right? I just heard that this morning, somebody saying that that was the case. And I'm going like, duh, how, what did it take you to figure that out? The rest of us knew. The rest of us knew. How, how is it that you didn't? And talking about having these people who are um, uh, you know, being held in these horrible facilities. Then the facilities are not horrible. I have to walk that back. It isn't the facilities that are horrible. It's the way the people are being treated that's horrible. It's not the facilities. It's the way they're being dealt. The way their people are dealing with them, working with them, and so forth. And this is what we need to understand. I'm not sitting here. Boy, I'm itchy today. Um, I'm not sitting here trying to say that anybody has done a great job with this situation. I'm going to be honest with you. The thing that I would like to see people do is to stop taking people into the United States from the perspective, particularly of people coming illegally to this country. That's the very first thing that I'd like to see people to do. Immigration, as I've said any number of times, is totally fine. It's totally acceptable. It's, it's expected. Right. And I think it's a good thing. And I think it's a good thing for the United States and other countries. Sometimes I question if it's as good a thing for the origin countries as the countries that end up with the immigrants. Because a lot of times people who are smart enough to leave a bad situation are the ones who leave and they leave people who are in the bad situation, the bad situation they're in. No, I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm just not sure. I personally don't tend to think so. And I also tend to think that if people don't work to make the places they're from better, they're not going to get there. Mexico is a problem at this point because you've got a whole bunch of people who are treating that country like, quite frankly, a human toilet in many instances. And I'm not saying don't, you know, this is the thing that they did to, uh, I'm, not, I'm not much into names, but one of the things that they did to Donald Trump is they said, Oh, he's saying everybody in Mexico is a bad guy. Not anything like. The majority of people in Mexico are just trying to make their way in the world, man. Just like you and me. They're just trying to make their way in the world. I'm not calling everybody bad. I'm saying that the ones who are bad are causing a whole lot of problems. In any case, I'm going to get back to what I was saying. The point is, if you want to treat people with dignity, don't crowd them at 1,600% of capacity in, in little cells. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's your first clue that you're not treating people in dignified fashions. 
All right, I need to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you're having a good day today. It's starting to get a little warmer here in this part of the world. Uh, again, it is the 6th of April of 2021 today. And today is Tuesday. Tomorrow then will be Wednesday, the 7th of April, very obviously. Thanks again for everybody who's here on Rumble on the podcast and YouTube. Our subject today has been Give Them Their Dignity, and tomorrow's subject is going to be Memory and Wisdom. And this is important. This is really an important thing. Uh, but, but I'll talk about that some more tomorrow. Hopefully, as I say, you're doing well today, and hopefully we will see you again. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Tuesday, April 6th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the daily summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.